Last episode we found the winning formula with Chandan scoring goals up top as the team climbs back up to second place, and now we just have to keep it going this time around. Hey, what's going on guys? Respect the Jeff here, and we are straight off to action here, taking a look at the players we have in the Youth Academy in training this week to see who else we could possibly call up to the squad to give us just that little bit more of depth. So I went ahead and I modded in 10 real-life Schalke uh, Academy youth players here into the game and based their stats and ratings off of Football Manager, so they're fairly realistic <laughs> to some degree. Uh, so these are the players to watch out for. Like I said, they are from the real-life Schalke Academy, uh, so we might have some cool cameos coming in the next couple weeks. For the time being, I don't know that we need to really promote any of them, but just so you guys know, these are the 10 players we have in our academy. They cover a variety of positions and different formations that we could possibly support, so uh, we'll keep our options open as we go forward. Reminder of where we sit, second place right now, huge, huge comeback in that last episode. We are finally back in the running for promotion after not the best start to the league, but we've definitely picked it up as of late. Tons of games coming up. I'm going to try to play all the way up until the January transfer window, so tons of action. Uh, but before we do that, let's try something new here. It's our first press conference as manager. All right, I asked the community, you guys answered, so I'm gonna answer some questions here today. Comment below in this video if you have any questions you want me to answer next time around, or if you wanna join the Discord community we have going on. Uh, those will get priority just because we've had some really good conversation going on there. It's free, link in the description if you wanna join uh, and feel free to ask away. But let's get straight to it, we'll answer some questions. Vince asks, what's been a strength that we've been able to rely on in the past few games? Um, now I've gotta say, I think the more experienced players in the club, we have players like Huntelar, Farfan, Chandan, they've all been great leaders. Uh, both on and off the pitch, I think they're helping the players really uh, find some cohesive chemistry, even the academy boys coming through. Uh, it's all about the players that know this club and are helping us out. Uh, Anshuman Das asks, if we're happy with the squad we have, and do we think this squad is enough to get us promotion this year? I have to say with full confidence, yes. I mean, we have the best players on paper in the league. Uh, some of the aforementioned players, Huntelar, Farfan, players like that are head and shoulders above the rest of the competition. Uh, so really, it's down to us as manager to get them working, and we really, really should be getting promoted. Uh, depth is our only concern, maybe, but uh, again, it's kind of down to us as manager to, <laughs> to make sure things work out well. Uh, Anshuman also asks, what's the difference we're finding between managing this team and our previous team in Chelsea? Uh, it's so hard to compare, isn't it? Uh, I mean, they're, they're two teams in completely different situations, right? Chelsea were at the top of the game, high funding, um, already in good standing. We're picking up a squad that needs work here in Schalke. It's all going to be about grinding out results. Uh, the beautiful play is going to come later, but it's time to be pragmatic and just make sure we get ourselves promotion this year. The focus is very different here for sure. Next question here, Corvex asks, uh, how are we planning on taking this team back to the top? Will youth players like Sané be used for this? I mean, absolutely, especially in the immediate term when our financial situation is so bad. The market is <laughs> fairly out of question. Uh, we have 500000 to spend, so we're not going to be bringing in any big names. It's all about the academy, uh, getting these players working great, and I fully back them. We have really, really great talents in the academy, uh, so for the next couple of seasons, that's going to be our focus as well as making use of the squad we have. Like I said, we already have great players. It's just about getting them working well, uh, maybe building a little bit of depth, but uh, the academy and what we have already will be our focus in the short term. And then final question here, Ryan Nalloy asks if we're going to move to a two-striker formation or if we're going to keep Huntelar uh, as a super sub. Uh, it's it's really all about the results for now. I mean, I, I can't say we're going to stick with one formation or set of players for any given amount of time. What works, works. Uh, for the time being, Chandan is our man up top. It's been working out for us, but again, we're going to stay flexible. Uh, we'll see th how things progress for the rest of this uh, episode, let alone series. Uh, so stay tuned for that, I guess. All right, that's all the time we got for questions today. Thanks for asking. Comment below if you want any of yours answered next week. And with that said, let's get straight back to action here. All right, well, the time has come fresh off the back of some wins in last episode, and we're looking to keep it up here with our first game of the episode. All right, here we go. Finally, time to get this team back to action. Coming off the back of some fantastic results, uh, the notable addition last episode, like I mentioned earlier, was Chandan starting up top. Completely revolutionized our offense, and look who scores right off the bat here. In our first game back, it is that man, Fatih Chandan up top. 
from being captain of the under-23 squad uh, to borderline <laughs> making himself captain here in the first team with Huntelaar uh, out. He is fantastic uh, up top there, scoring goal after goal for us. And like I said, just completely revitalized the offense. Everything is flowing through him uh, between he and Bujaleb. Uh, we really look to have a potent offense at this point of the season. Farfan crosses it up again to that target man. Shandan is really making a name for himself down here in Division 3. Uh, the question will be, can he keep it up? Uh, Schalke look for another goal. The story of our season so far has been that we've been unable to finish all of our chances, but we make the most of some of these. Bujaleb getting on the end of uh, maybe a little bit of a lucky deflection there from John Dunn, but again, the link-up play uh, is good, the idea is right, uh, and we're going to capitalize on some of those chances, even if it's not the prettiest of opportunities, it does uh, fall to the right man. So we're putting on some youth here, CD Sané gets another shot. Uh, not all of our youth players have impressed so far, but I fully back them, like I was mentioning in the press conference, they are the future of this club, and we just need some time to continue to gel here, giving it away is CD Sané, but Schalke look to be in complete control of this match here, and surely we'll be on our way to another win as time winds down here one more opportunity for the opposition maybe and it is over time but a little dink over the goalkeeper and just like that we are caught out on the counter attack no time left for a comeback we are still going to get the win but that's a disappointing note to end this match on Himmelman uh, coming out a little too far maybe but we can't pin that on him <laughs> it's got to be down to the defense uh, regardless we come away with three points another win for Schalke got to keep our heads up here uh, and we move on all right, straight back into action here as we get more games underway. We've got tons to play through here, uh, so some of the highlights will be a little shorter. Hawkins getting caught out a couple times in this match. Uh, fortunately, he is bailed out by Chaw there with a fantastic challenge coming out of center back. But Hawkins just looks off the mark, giving the ball away. He really has not quite lived up to what we thought he could coming from Chelsea. He honestly, I thought, played better in the blue of Chelsea, but he's still so young. I really don't want to be too critical, especially as he's our only uh, other center back alongside Chaw, so it's not like we have any option for rotation even if he plays bad again. Hawkins losing his man a little bit there. Himmelman, uh, the man this time to come in there and bail him out. But uh, again, I don't want to focus too much on our center back. Uh, he's played decently the rest of the season. A couple mistakes here or there, but uh, it really, it's been a good showing from the rest of our defense. Chandon scores again. Who else up top? <laughs> it's off of a little counterattack there. Honestly, hasn't been the best Chalka performance so far, but when we got a player like that up top to bail us out of situations like this, uh, we're always going to end up uh, <laughs> at least producing decent results. Farfan gets an assist there, and hopefully this is the start of him him starting to become a little more prolific both of our wingers I think we just need to see a little bit more from Skripsky the other one now getting involved and he tries to play it through again the link up play from Schalke starting to come off a little more but again we just need to see a little more consistency unfortunately for us we concede here just before halftime just kidding offsides <laughs> we've gotten away with that one coming into the second half here still maintaining that slim margin here one goal lead Chandan over the top there from Farfan the two of them linking up again how has that missed the feet of Bostogan running into the box uh, well we'll never know but <laughs> still only that slim goal to keep us in front here and the chance falls to the feet of the attacker on the opposition there. And unfortunately for us, we don't get away with an offsides call this time. They've leveled things up here, and with eight minutes remaining, we've got to find ourselves a way to get back in front of this match if we want three points here. But it's the opposition who do exactly that, scoring a second goal for a huge upset victory. Uh, over Schalke, who have been in fantastic form as of late. Very disappointing result for us. We had a couple chances, but couldn't finish uh, with five minutes left here. Can we find a way through Hontelar? How has he missed that? Well, uh, super sub coming on. Not so super today. That was the chance to salvage a point from the match, but unfortunately for us, not today. All right, well, in the post-game press conference, in-game this time here, <laughs> uh, our winning streak is finally over. I don't know off the top of my head how many it was in a row, uh, definitely through the end of last episode, but it will be disappointing uh, for us to blow it on that. So a little break in action maybe to refocus here. Uh, worked out well for us last time around in the cup, <laughs> and that was what got us back to winning ways originally. So we'll be looking to do the same here. This time around, we are going to rotate the squad a lot. Mendil uh, gets another shot at left back. Ambrose, the academy boy, gets the start at right back, uh, who despite being listed as a left back is dominant right foot so I think it makes more sense anyways. Uh, Sané, Hoppy, and Farfan start up top and let's see how this team does. A lot of youth in this side. Let's see if they can get the job done. All right, Schalke back into action. Our first 
Uh, preferred starting 11 has been doing really well in the league, but I think it's just some of the players off of our bench who are struggling a little bit to get up to speed here, and this is a chance for them to do so. Tyler Ambrose, the uh, young defender out of the academy, had a really good debut earlier in the season in the Cup, hasn't really played since then, but I'll be looking to see some more from him again. Charging down the wing, <laughs> he did give the ball away, but good work rate from the youngster. He's got a lot of pace, very physical player. If he can develop a little bit, he could be a real talent. Sané lays it off. Marjan in the box, saved by the goalkeeper. How has that stayed out? Well, some of our youth players linking up there couldn't quite get it in the back of the net, but it's a good chance. Top of the box there. Barisha has a shot at goal. Sané looking to work his way through and again gives it away. Disappointing again from the youngster. Chalka just looking for some way through. It's been pretty disappointing so far. Not a whole lot of chances. Himmelman, uh, one of the only starters from the usual team starting this one, and uh, he's the one to make a difference once again, saving that chance, uh, keeping the scoreline level here. Merjan charging down the field. He's got a couple options. Farfan using his pace. Uh, one of the other experienced players to start this match as well, and he's going to go at it alone. Farfan finishes. How about that? Well, he started to take it up a notch here, wearing the captain's armband for this one as he's <laughs> the most experienced player in the squad out there on the pitch, and what a goal that is. Using his pace despite being 35 years of age, and he's definitely still got it. Diamond Barisha charging through. Lovely little pass. Matthew Hoppy. No. Well, that was his chance to finish. The young American striker has not managed to find his way into the starting 11 really this season uh, and is starting to be some rumbles of a transfer rumor on the horizon as he's not starting uh, despite definitely having the quality to probably step it up in another team but he just hasn't been able to get the job done for us and with players like Chandan starting all I care about are results we're not going to play players just because they have a lot of potential so uh, regardless we end up seeing this one out <laughs> probably closer than we would have liked 1-0 but we move on to the cup pretty good performance overall and I would like to see a little more from the team uh, some promising signs. All right, well, an offer coming in uh, for Hamza Mendil. Um, we're going to consider it. I mean, Hanover, not a bad option, to be perfectly honest. We've been trying uh, to find a suitable uh, bid for him, really. I mean, if we can find someone to pay a good bit of money. He's not our preferred left back anymore. Definitely, I mean, still a player in there. I, I don't want to get the wrong impression here. I mean, he's starting in the cup games, but with the way Chalanoglu has been playing, I got to go based off of form here, uh, and he's going to be unhappy on the bench at 70 rated down in Division 3. I think it's only fair uh, that if we can find a suitable transfer, he will probably move on in the January window, but we'll see. Things could always develop differently. Differently. We've seen uh, how things can change quickly in this career so far. But with that said, it's straight back to action here, back in the league. All right, here we go, straight back into league action and looking to turn it around from that disappointing loss that broke our undefeated streak for a while there. Uh, slightly new camera angle in this one. I ended up scrapping it after. I feel like it's a little harder to see the action, so apologies uh, if it's a little harder to follow the match in this one. But Schalke uh, pushing really hard in the back line. Shaw, unfortunately, gotten the better of there across to the back post, and that is a lovely finish. Nothing the goalkeeper could do to save that, and that is poor defending from our center back, who honestly is usually the bright spot of our back line. Shaw has barely put a foot wrong all season. Uh, Himmelman uh, definitely could do better. I take that back <laughs> about the goalkeeper, but we find ourselves a goal down here in search of uh, something, something going up on up top. Uh, it's been pretty barren so far. Bozdogan looking for a way through. Lovely little dink and Schalke looking to play some of those clever through balls, and it's just not quite coming off. Again, like I was saying earlier, we don't necessarily have the quality to play beautiful football, so it's going to take just something to push through the lines and grab us a goal, even if it's not the prettiest. Bozdogan comes the closest there with a curling effort at goal, and as we bring it to the second half here, we are still in search of our first goal. Skripski playing his way through. Lovely work rate once again, and despite not scoring or assisting, like I've been saying time and time again this season, he's working really hard, opening up spaces, and there he wins us a free kick. Huntelar coming on and looking for a little bit of link-up play here. Chandon with the return pass, looking for the head of him, and the two up top can't quite make it come off here. Skripski, the latest to have a crack at goal. Not bad at all. Lovely save from the goalkeeper. 75 minutes in here. Schalke, despite really dominating here in the second half, he had to find a goal for our efforts. Bujalab working it through, and again, just not on the same page there. Free kick at the edge of the area. Jefferson Farfan to step up and put this one down at goal. Outside of the boot, not too far off, but again, uh, close doesn't count here, and we're still in search of a goal. Game finally ends. Another consecutive defeat for us. Uh, really, really harsh result. Uh, well, we tried a little bit of rotation. Subs couldn't make the difference, and unfortunately for us, we got to pick our heads up and start getting results again. Uh, promotion starting to slip. All right, well, third game here 
Uh, and off the back of two defeats, it's really important here that we get out and get a win. Uh, I will start considering other alternatives to this formation if we can't grind out uh, some kind of result here and start to turn things around. But um, I, it's not like we've been playing that bad. We've been creating chances. I think it's been a little uh, unlucky for us, especially in that last game. But we'll see how things uh, go here. Himmelman out there to grab it. A couple decent chances there for the opposition as we look to find our footing in the game here. Jefferson Farfan option in the middle. Lovely ball. Finds the feet of Bozo Gone. Cutting inside in the shot. Uh, too weak to trouble the goalkeeper, but it's a great counterattack uh, there from Schalke playing the ball through again. It's Chandan waiting for the run through. Bujaleb, lovely stuff. Surely this will be a goal. No, it's a poor finish there from Bujaleb, who has looked pretty bright this episode, but again, his final passes and final shots just aren't really finding the back of the net in this episode here. Can we find someone to carry the team to some kind of result there? Thought that was in Bozdogan again, proving himself to be a menace uh, from range here, but unable to convert. And as we hang on, the game very much still in the balance here, coming up towards halftime, still nil-nil. Now their team able to break the deadlock. Theo Jaggi coming into the second half. Bujaleb, surely a chance for Schalke. Chandan finishes. Never in doubt from that kind of range. Who else but Fatih Chandan, the striker, doing it time and time again this season. And Schalke get themselves in front. It's a matter of hanging on now. Again, <laughs> even if it's a close result, I'll take the three points. All that matters is grinding out the wins uh, in this uh, first season here in charge. Jefferson Farfan down the wing again using his pace to great effect can he pick out the pass slides it back oh Bujaleb again just wide of the post he's getting in the right spots uh, just missing that little something so far in this episode and with 10 minutes left we are hanging on here a really close call uh, there and finally the whistle blows we see it out uh, three points I mean we'll take it back to winning ways <laughs> again not the prettiest but uh, it's better so we move on from here all right, well, in the news, Steven Skripsky is coming under fire again. A lot of news pieces being written about this guy this season. He seems to constantly uh, be in our little news feed here. Uh, he's not scoring or assisting a lot, like I've mentioned a lot already in this uh, episode, uh, let alone career, but, I mean, he's playing well, and let's take a quick look at where the squad stands. To be honest, we are very heavily reliant on Chandan so far. He scored the majority of our goals, and they've kind of dried up elsewhere. Bujaleb, our second uh, leading score with only three, and outside of that, they've been pretty hard to come by. Bozdagan scoring a couple, Farfan, uh, Huntelar, very disappointing, you gotta say. I mean, some of these are as a sub, to be fair, but two goals in 13 games, uh, we expect better from him. Uh, Skripski, only that one goal so far, and we really just gotta start finding some more goals elsewhere. Uh, on the bright side, our defense is holding up strong. Uh, with that said, uh, let's get straight back into action here. All right, well, we return to the pitch and Schalke in search of results, like I was mentioning before this game. Uh, definitely not the most prolific team. We're not scoring tons of goals, but we do have the best defense in the league by far. We're not conceding a lot at all, uh, so a lot of these games have been very close, either draws or 1-0 uh, <laughs> victories, things like that. I mean, if it means promotion for us, I'll take it any day. That's our only goal here. Uh, like I was saying uh, earlier in the episode, it's really not important that we're playing beautiful stuff as long as we find results here, but uh, if results are starting to fail, we might have to start uh, working something else out here. Uh, maybe go a little more offensive and risk conceding at the back, but for the time being, I mean, we're still pretty high at the table. I'm not super concerned about it. Theo Jaggi coming forwards now, charging out of midfield. Uh, that's better from him. And lovely build-up play here from Schalke. Chalanoglu finds himself through in space. Can he go at it alone? Yes, off his left foot. That's a good save from the goalkeeper. Best chance of the game so far, uh, but that has been pretty much it. Not a whole lot going on in this game. 70 minutes in, barely a chance for either team so far. Fatih Chandan chest, down to feet, cuts it inside. What a goal, Fatih Chandan. Uh, like I was just saying, it's been pretty barren in terms of chances for both teams, but our striker gets it done once again. Uh, barely had a chance all game, but he makes the chances that he does get count, and what a lovely, lovely goal that is. 91 minutes gone, Schalke grind out another 1-0 victory, and that's three big points for the Blues. All right, another game here, and then we'll take a little break after this action uh, and just reevaluate where the squad sits. But we're in pretty decent form now. Again, <laughs> results a little closer than we would have liked, but as long as we get these wins, that's all that counts. How has he missed that? Sean Dunn from such close range. <laughs> Maybe perhaps to put a little too much power on it, and unfortunately for us, uh, an unlikely and uncharacteristic, rather, miss from our striker it keeps the scoreline level here pretty early in the game. Skripsky giving the ball away and still struggling just a little bit to get involved as much as he'd want. Uh, 
Uh, he's still our best option. I mean, we've given players like Sané a chance, and it's not like they've done any better. So we continue here. Chandan, another chance, and it's cleared off the line by the goalkeeper. Schalke, very, very unlucky, uh, or unfortunate, rather, to not have scored yet. I mean, we definitely have to start sinking some of those chances uh, if we want to come away with a win here. Bujaleb coming forwards and looking up here with Chandan, waiting for a run through, a little flick through. Bozdogan in the box. Surely this will be a goal saved by the goalkeeper again. Three fantastic chances. None of them find their way in the back of the net. So it's Huntelar coming on, uh, sacrificing a defender. Chalanoglu coming off. Three at the back. We need results here, and we've been chasing it for the last 20 minutes since then. Coming on, and the opposition in our area. Oh, Himmelman has kept that one out with two minutes remaining. That could be a game changer here to even salvage just a point for us here. Time winding down. Far fun. Legs have gone. A little fatigue settling, and maybe, and it runs out. Unfortunately for us, that's the end of the game. Nil nil. We uh, do manage to grab a point, but despite being on top for most of the game, couldn't get the job done. We definitely should have gotten a win there. Uh, and again, a little disappointing from the team. Let's see if we can't tinker around and find a better solution here. All right, well, Skripsky speaking to the news this time around. He's been constantly in and out of the press here. He's happy to be selected, and he's in good spirits despite maybe not uh, scoring as much as we would like from that position. I'm going to back the man, though. I, genuinely, I think he's playing well. I know he's probably not making a ton of the highlight reels that I'm putting on here, but playing the games, he's definitely involved. He and Farfan both, um, and I think this is our best lineup. However, the problem we're finally running into is that we just don't have enough depth Two center backs here is putting us in a pinch with both of them being fatigued. So we delve into the academy and we promote Arbner Aliu, the uh, young German out of the academy. Again, another real life player here uh, who will be joining the Schalke squad and hopefully breaking through into the ranks. 62 overall, and he is probably the most promising to come out of our academy so far this season. Uh, along with Ambrose, uh, the non-real <laughs> youth player, uh, who will be starting it right back for this one. A notable tactical addition here. I'm going to try Chandan in a center forward role right behind Huntelar and try to get both of them integrated here. Both wingers, Barisha and Sané, uh, the youngsters, will be starting this one. If you guys want to check out Aliyu and some of the other new players, go check out the Schalke tab on respecttojeff.com. You can see all of their stats. I uh, just feel a little more connected to this. You can drop comments there or on this video and let me know who you think should be playing. So with that said, it's back to the cup. All right, here we go. We've made it to the round of 16. A win here would take us into the quarterfinals, which is not bad at all, considering the kind of season we're having. A uh, notable debut here for Arbner Aliyu in the starting 11, and he's just one of many who have broken into the first team this season. Barisha and Sané also start, uh, who were also promoted out of the academy this season, so the young trio uh, gets the, the nod here in this game, and hopefully it's enough to take us through, although a lovely bit of build-up play sees us go down just... Uh, like that five minutes into the match nothing we could do to defend against that you can't pin that uh, down to anything but fantastic passing uh, lovely goal hats off to them <laughs> we got a mountain to climb now to get ourselves back in this game Mandil finds Barisha tricky footwork linking up here with Chandan who is playing as a center forward here a little different of a role and I'm just trying to incorporate both he and Huntelar who slips through Marjan who scores fantastic stuff once again from Schalke in that build-up play Huntelar back into the starting 11 uh, making waves here Lovely stuff, what a pass. Slip it through, great strength to hold his man off. Uh, and you gotta say the entire attacking line getting involved in that one. Play continues here, coming to the end of the first half. Ambrose doing really well playing it right back. Uh, and despite being our only youth player who doesn't actually play for Schalke's uh, youth team in real life, he is showing that he definitely has some quality about him and looks to prove why he should be fighting for minutes alongside some of those other players. Aliu though having a fantastic debut, done really well on defense and outside of that goal uh, early on they just haven't had too much of a chance thanks to our center back partnership in particular. Aliu just looks really comfortable in possession. Uh, in terms of his play style, just so you guys know, he's very very well rounded, maybe not the fastest, the strongest, uh, the best on the ball, but he's just so uh, well balanced at all of those things. He could grow into a really special player for us and obviously one of the most promising to come out of our academy as well. He's one to keep an eye out for uh, in the future here. Some great chances coming in and guess who it is once again making save after save. Robin Himmelman. <laughs> Unbelievable goalkeeper to be honest. Uh, 91 minutes and we really came under pressure here late in the match. Three or four chances that probably should have been finished if I'm going to be realistic here but our goalkeeper manages to pretty single-handedly keep them out and we continue on here in extra time. Huntelar with the best chance for us so far uh, in extra time here. Blasts it over the bar though and again we find ourselves on the back foot here. Another Another parry at goal, uh, and Himmelman sees it out again. Uh, he's keeping us afloat here as we come towards the end uh, of the extra time here. Another chance 
Coming in and another chance cleared away. Ambrose can't quite get it away and it's blasted over the bar. And just like that, uh, we've come away with a little bit of fortune coming in to this second period of extra time here. Matthew Hoppy coming on, looking to make a difference. Skripsky down the wing, tees it up, looking for the head of Huntelar. Eventually cleared away. Not too many chances for us, but we managed to see it through. We're going to penalties again, just like we did last round. Uh, and if... <laughs> The last round's penalties are anything to take away here. Uh, we are in trouble if we miss as many as we did last time. We kind of edged our way out. Although the opposition missed their first, we miss our first as well. We're off to a horrible start once again. Hopefully we don't see more of the same that we saw uh, in that last penalty shootout. Skripsky converts though. 1-1 one, one on penalties so far. Himmelman, can he make a save here straight down the middle? No. And we gotta find ourselves a goal here if we want to keep things level. Merjan off the post and it's saved. Oh man, and we are on the back foot here. Himmelman though, comes up with a big save. If we can convert this, we are back on level terms here in the shootout. Huntelar straight down the middle, and just like that, we continue here. One more shot, and one more chance finished by the opposition. Matthew Hoppy has to make this one count, and he does in the bottom corner. One goal uh, passed now off the post. If we finish this, we are going through Theo Jaggi, the young defensive midfielder who followed us all the way from Chelsea. Can he make the difference here in the German Cup? Steps up and converts just like that. Two penalty shootouts and two uh, progressive wins here in penalty shootouts for us. Fantastic stuff from Schalke. We're going through to the next round, the quarterfinals, and it has been a solid run for us already. The youth prevails again, and we go through. All right, well, the talk here in the post-game press conference is about that debut. Aliyu was fantastic in the back line, looked really, really good after being called upon. He's uh, only the third center back in our squad with his promotion, so I think he'll be getting a good amount of minutes here if we decide to rotate at all this season. Uh, he's obviously going to be our man. Uh, also, some notable talk going on about Chandan, who played really well in that attacking midfield role. A little surprising, but he can kind of do it all up top. He's maybe not the quickest. I don't know if I'd fit him out on the wing, but uh, he did just as well playing behind. Behind Huntelar as he did as an out and out striker. Didn't get a goal, but created a lot of chances. Uh, I don't know that that partnership is one I'm actually going to try going forwards. Huntelar is still maybe just a little too slow up top. He was all right. He had that assist, but uh, in league games, I think we need to see a little bit more than that. Reminder of where we sit though, second in the league still, uh, several points off of first place, starting to slip just a little bit, but we have a game in hand and we definitely could climb back up a little bit. All we need is promotion this season though, that's what counts. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys have been enjoying this series, please consider subscribing, helps my channel out a ton. I'll be back next Wednesday with the next episode, but until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.